lacewings, or Chrysoperla rufilabris, are one of the most commonly released natural enemies for augmentation biological control. These insects are generalist predators and they feed on a variety of insects uh, with soft bodies like aphids and mealybugs. They'll also feed on the immature stages of white flies and scales. They'll eat spider mites, uh, leaf hoppers, and even small caterpillars. They also feed on the eggs of insects as well as spider mites. Now the larvae are wonderful predators. A single larvae in its lifetime can eat 11,000 spider mites, 300 to 400 aphids, or 6,000 scales. That is a lot of predation. Now the adults are not predaceous. They feed on nectar and pollen, and they'll also feed on the honeydew, which is a sticky syrup that aphids excrete onto the leaves of plant. The adults will find hosts on the plant and they'll lay their eggs next to them. And the eggs are recognized because they're on a little thread and they suspend up above the leaf at the end of this little thread and that keeps them from eating one another as they hatch. So when you purchase lacewings, they come in two forms. You can either purchase an egg or a larvae. And the eggs tend to be packaged in a carrier like a rice hole or vermiculite and that separates them and keeps them from eating one another. But I have some that are just eggs so you can see what they look like and um, they're very tiny. They tend to be green as they approach hatching and when they ship the eggs to you. They ship them when they're just about ready to hatch so that when you put them out in the landscape they'll be ready to start feeding in a day or two. To put these in the landscape you could just simply sprinkle them into the whorls of plants. If you want to use them in an ornamental landscape you could put uh, little piles, spoon some out onto the branch of a tree for example. You can also use little paper cups in the landscape and just sprinkle some of the eggs into the cups and you're going to want to distribute them throughout the landscape throughout your planting bed. As the larvae hatch they'll crawl out of the cups and onto the foliage and they'll look for some insects to feed on. Now when you purchase larvae of the lacewing they're shipped like this in a, a little cardboard honeycomb and inside each of these little cells is a single lacewing larva. And here's one crawling around that got out somehow. Uh, but the reason that they're shipped in these little cells is to keep them from feeding on one another during shipping. But these are ready to go, ready to eat. And to release these, you're going to simply peel back the organdy cloth on the top and shake some out over your plants. I'm going to reach over here. And you want to shake some of the insects out and again, you're going to want to walk, you know, work through up and down your row and spread them out in the landscape. Now, it's a good idea to make releases um, three to four times during the early part of the season and make those releases one to two weeks apart. As you make your third or fourth release of larvae in the landscape, those first releases, those larvae will be reaching adulthood They'll mate, reproduce, and lay eggs and start that predation cycle all over again. So you'll have a continuous supply of predators in the landscape. Now the adults are not predaceous. They feed on nectar, pollen, and honeydew. And they require a source of sugar and protein to mature their eggs. So we can boost egg production from both the released lacewings as well as those that naturally occur in the landscape by providing a food source. And this is also true of other predators like lady beetles and cirphid flies as well as many parasitoids. So we can provide food by planting lots of nectar-rich flowers around our gardens. Uh, we can also provide a supplemental food source. And these generally come in a powder. It contains uh, sugars and proteins as well as amino acids. And we dilute this in water, which we can simply spray onto the plants where the adults are active. And this will provide a little bit of extra food for um, adult lady beetles as well and other insects. Studies have shown that using supplemental feeding and planting flowers can significantly increase egg production in many garden settings. 
Now green lacewings are a wonderful predator to release in the landscape and you could use them in the vegetable garden as well as in your ornamental landscapes. Thank you.